Hey everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. I am having a kind of crazy day, kind of crazy week because this is the week that we're moving. Um, so yeah, the house is a disaster. It's just, you know, it's like it's on a whole different scale of what disaster usually means in this house. But it's fine because we're moving and that's just how it works sometimes. Today I wanted to talk about how I feel about what I share on the internet. Um, having a daily vlog obviously means I am sharing a lot of my life. That obviously includes my two beautiful children and my husband. A lot of people don't always understand how some people can share so much online because they themselves are more private and would just rather keep their private lives to themselves and not splash it all over the internet. I totally understand that. I'm just a little bit different. I kind of like having a voice and YouTube has been the outlet that I have chosen. Um, you know, a lot of people have very popular Instagrams and blogs and um, you know, Facebook accounts and those types of social media and I kind of tried those to see, really it's been YouTube that has really fit my personality and my style. As far as sharing things about my life and my family, I enjoy sharing things about my life mostly because I feel very blessed and I want to put something good out in the world. I want to somehow minimize the evil and the hatred by putting out good things, especially on YouTube and on Facebook and things like that. So that's a lot of why I do it because because I do have a skill with videography. I like to do it. It's something that really I'm passionate about. I and I am also passionate about family and just lifestyle and, and sharing the way you live and learning and growing and YouTube is just a really great place for that. As far as sharing things about my children, um, a lot of people are very scared about the like super nasty people in the world who will look at your child's picture online and like do whatever they do with that. So I am very aware of the details of life and how I can't, I'm not ever going to share where, you know, our address. Um, I'm, I never want to share, you know, where my kids go to school or daycare or I never want to share our regular schedule and, you know, we're going to be here at this time and I usually post even our vacations after we have vacation and so I don't usually say where we're going before we get there, if you know what I mean. Even with, when Zach used to be going out of town a lot, I would be really worried that I, you know, he'd go out of town for a whole week and so that would be part of the vlog is that, you know, he goes out of town Monday and I post that on Tuesday and then he's still gone until Friday. I would try to keep that um, out of the vlog that he's out of town just so people, you know, know that I am home alone for, you know, whatever reason. So there are a bunch of security issues for my family that I do definitely take into account. And I think that is, you know, as far as I can go with security, a lot of people don't choose to use their kids' names on YouTube and or on anywhere and I think that's really smart. It doesn't really fit my style of YouTubing and I, I'm not scared of people knowing my kids' names. A lot of my philosophy or like way of thinking as far as security goes, and this might be like sound really terrible to some people, but there are so many different things to be scared of online. There are so many ways that people can hurt you, but I just don't like to live in fear. I'm going to, you know, be cautious and, and try and do things in a safe way. But I'm not always going to live in fear of someone finding something out and then attacking us or whatever happens. I just, I love YouTube. I love, I love videography and I love sharing our life and our lifestyle and, and sharing my thoughts so much more than I am scared of sharing those things. I don't want to live in fear of some bad guy doing something bad because there's, you know, always something bad's going to happen. Yes, you can take precautions, but I just, I want to be able to share the good in the world and if there's bad that's gonna happen from that, I can do everything that I can, but sometimes bad people are gonna do their own thing no matter what we do to, to stop it. And so that's kind of how I feel um, about safety and, and things on, on YouTube and on social media. I do share a lot of things about my kids, like, I don't know, discipline issues or potty training and things like that that some people say, wow, they're gonna be like so embarrassed when they grow up and that video is online. And to that I would say, well, maybe I'll take it down. <laughs> like I have total control over my content. Yeah, it's on, you know, in the cloud or in online is just kind of this like big imaginary monster. But as far as I'm concerned, I can take it down. Um, I can delete everything whenever I want. And if someone finds it, I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna try and, I'm not gonna raise my kids to be embarrassed by themselves. I just think that would be silly. 
And hopefully I'm smart enough to never post anything that's truly embarrassing and that would traumatize them for the rest of their life. <laughs> um, anyway, those are my thoughts on um, online blogging and blogging and, and picture sharing, especially with families. It's, it's a hard thing and it's this weird community and it's a weird way to live your life every day. But honestly, the reason I do it is because I love videography. It really is something that like when I'm sitting and editing a movie, it's like this, just this magic that happens that I get lost in it and I love it. It's just a passion that I have. I don't know where it came from, I just love it. And I also do it because I see a lot of bad in the world, I see a lot of bad on the internet, and I can't sit back and do nothing. And so this is my outlet, this is my way of putting some good out there and just being a force for good even if it just means it reaches, you know, 100 people a day, that's meaningful to me and I love it. And, and I truly hope that all of us can find something like that. You don't have to share, you know, your smiling kids online every day, but I hope we can all find a way to put some good out there and, you know, spread the joy around instead of just like being sad about all the bad and all the hateful people and all the haters and the trolls out there online and just get out and do something good. I hope that made any sense. I'm kind of just rambling. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to do a little video about this topic and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it maybe, I hope that it helped you understand a little bit more about this world of online sharing and maybe understand some people a little bit better and not be so judgmental of others. And I hope we can all just step back and think about why people do what they do. Hopefully it's for a good reason. I hope that my reason for putting videos on YouTube every day is good and I truly believe it is. If you like anything about what I just said, please give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe down below as well. Hit that big red subscribe button. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.